Hey everyone, it's Kayla with The Celebration Company and I've got something fun for you today. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And also be sure to check me out on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram for a lot of other fun ideas just like this one. I'm starting with a Dollar Tree ladder and I'm just gonna remove the hanger and remove the little greenery piece just using a flathead screwdriver and a pair of pliers. Then I'm gonna heat it up and try to remove the word. I'm trying to remove it without breaking it. So I just do it gently with a little scraper and the heat gun. And then I'm gonna use some burnt umber and just stain it. I'm trying to mostly just focus on the front. I'm not worrying too much about the edges. I'm gonna add some white paint to this so if I, don't get the edges real well, it's totally fine. So just using some burnt umber and then a baby wipe to remove the excess um, stain or paint in this case. And this is just apple barrel burnt umber that I'm using. Nothing fancy, you could use whatever you have on hand, any kind of brown or stain that you have would work perfect for this. After I get it all stained, I'm gonna just dry it and then I'm going to use a votive candle and I'm putting a lot of wax on here. I don't want a whole lot of white paint on after I'm done so I'm coating and putting it on almost all sides and every surface and then I'm going to come in with my white acrylic paint. This is just apple barrel white and I'm going to paint the whole thing, the front, the sides of the rungs, all of it. I'm not going to get the back but I'm going to get all the sides and everything with the white acrylic paint. And then I'm gonna dry that and come back with a paint scraper and just start scraping away all that wax. Everywhere where I applied the wax, the paint is not gonna stick. And so all that wax is gonna come off and then I'll just come back with my sander and do a little final sanding just to remove a little bit more paint. You can see in the end, you get this really great distressed wood look. Now I'm gonna be using some of our new scrapbook paper for our bunnies. You can get that on our website, thecelebrationco.com. This particular set is called Frayed Denim. And I'm just gonna start Mod Podging all of my bunnies. I'm just cutting the shape out and Mod Podging it on, then sanding off the excess. Now I'm taking some burnt umber and I'm just gonna do a little dry brushing all the way around the edges on all the bunnies. This is just gonna add a little aging, make them stand out a little bit more. And then I'm just gluing them on so that they are sitting on the rungs. I made sure to make the bunnies facing different directions as they go up the ladder. Now this top bunny needed a little reinforcing, so I'm just taking a Jenga block and just gluing it to the back of the bunny and to the side of the ladder. Then I'm just using some pom-poms that came from Dollar Tree to apply to the tails, and then I'm using some Excelsior just to put right at the base of the bunny on the rung of the ladder. I chose two different types of ribbons. The middle one is just going to do a, like a peachy pink ribbon and on the bottom and the top one I'm using a natural gingham ribbon and I'm just doing a little bow around their necks. And that's all for this craft. It turned out so super cute. It's really fun. I think the paper that we used made all the difference in the world and you can get that on our website thecelebrationco.com. I think the distressed ladder is just really cute. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you'll give it a try. Most of the items came from Dollar Tree to make this. Be sure to follow us for more and have an awesome day.